Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. Alabama State Senator Greg Albritton is the author of SB 20, a bill that would abolish marriage licenses. He's on the line to speak with us today. Senator, what's the benefit of abolishing marriage licenses? It prevents the government from being a gatekeeper and deciding who can marry and who cannot. Did the issue of gay marriage inspire the need for the legislation, either as a form of accommodation or to avoid controversy? Precisely. It was the catalyst that drove this to fruition, yes. Could you explain SB 20's proposal for the recording of marriages and how it's different from requiring a marriage license? In actuality, it changes very little. In most instances, the marriage license is obtained from a local probate judge, signed and authorizing the judge for the two to get married, then uh, requires that a ceremony be done and the minister sign the same document, and that document then is brought in and recorded. What my bill does, SB 20, is it eliminates the process of approval. The document continues to be provided by the state, it is signed by the parties, and then is recorded. Would the state still outlaw bigamy in underage marriages? Of course. That's a part of it, and that is a part of the form and the law. Some religious groups, such as house churches, would like to be able to perform weddings. But not all states would accept this without the involvement of a traditional denomination. So you're saying SB 20 would sidestep the question of who is qualified to lead the ceremony? by the state even to conduct such ceremonies. In my bill, it eliminates that entirely. It allows that a ceremony may be conducted by whatever the parties choose. Whatever a ceremony is done or is not done does not affect the legality of the properly completed form. What social influences originally demanded the issuance of marriage licenses? In Alabama, there were a couple of things. Number one, it was issued for, as alleged, for health purposes. You know, back in the old days, you had to get blood tests to check whether you were healthy enough for had particular diseases. But also another, it was the Jim Crow laws. It was an effort to prevent marriage between races. Plus, it's a, a way to bring in some money to county scoffers, right? That's always the part of government, is to bring in more money. What's the schedule in upcoming weeks as the legislation moves toward final approval or disapproval? We have taken this through the Senate. It's been approved by the Senate overwhelmingly. It has gone down to the House, and it was overwhelmingly approved in the committee of the House, and it is now in preparation to go before the floor of the House. The votes are there. It's simply a matter of being able to get the particular document before the House and to have a vote on it. And where does the governor stand on this? The governor is supported. The governor will, will sign the document. Senator, thanks for speaking with us today. No problem. Enjoyed it. If there's any other thing I can do, let me know. Greg Albritton represents District 22 in Alabama Senate. He previously served in the state's House of Representatives. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. Thank you.